ho, 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 wow, baby. You better pinch yourself. Because I think you're dead. You got in a car crash, mate. Like, oh, in 1966 when he died. Maybe, maybe, maybe you're dead. And you went to heaven. It's possible. It's either that. Or you're on the Clark the Shark Show at 1-800-449-8255, baby. The most amazing talk radio show where we review albums from the 1960s. And Paul is like, I love me some love. Arthur Lee and love a genius. And I'm like, Paul, you're right, man. Arthur Lee and love. All you need is love as John here. I love this band. And Clark the Shark loves this band at 1-800-449-8255-2 also, baby. On Little Sharky's Underground Garage, 1966. Love, DiCapo. Oh, oh, baby. What an album. This is one of my favorite albums ever. Love, DiCapo. Love the couple. <laughs> you know I love, love. My baby loves love. Me baby loves love. She knows what she's got and she knows how to use it. I love, love. Arthur Lee and love, baby. Clark the Shark Show. You talk about underground garage. Ugh, people smoking cloves back in the 60s. Sitting in a garage with a bunch of birds. With a bunch of girls. You don't even know if they're 18. I don't even care, man. Because I love love. Arthur Lee and love. You know Clark the Shark. Loves me some love, baby. You know, Forever Changes might be the greatest album ever. Recorded. But there was an album before Forever Changes called De Capo. 1966, the same year as Frank Zappa, Freak Out. The same year as you, a quick one. And the Beatles' Revolver. <laughs> and all that great stuff by the Yardbirds. Just amazing music in 1966. What a year for rock music. I love 1966. I almost don't love 1967 because all the acid... <laughs> But I still love it. I love the changing times and the Jefferson Airplane and all that. The electric prunes. Ah, uh, you've got to love the electric prunes, man. But there's something to be said for Arthur Lee and Love and their amazing albums. All these guys, man. And DeCapo. This album, man. Ah. Uh, I love this album. I don't love it as much as Forever Changes. Because Forever Changes, come on, man. That's one of the greatest albums ever recorded. It's just not fair to compare anything to Forever Changes. You know, that's Arthur Lee and Love at their best, man. But De Capo is, you know, there's something to be said for this amazing album. And that first Love album is really great. Ah, you know I love 1965, baby, on the Clark the Shark Show. Little Sharky's Underground Garage. It's better than Little Steven. Because it's like you really did die when you're at Sharky. And you really did go to heaven. <laughs> you're really in heaven, man, when you're on the Clark the Shark Show. Don't even pinch yourself, I swear to God. Because heaven's not any better than this show. No way. Not when you're hearing the golden tones of the Sharky coming to you from the golden EIB Sharkraphone. It's not a microphone. It's more than that. It's a Sharkraphone. And I'm telling you about Arthur Lee and Love 1966 DiCapo. This incredible album that I love. I love these garage psychedelic back in the 60s, man. It's amazing. You know, this amazing, sh so shagadelic baby. Beyond, I would have loved to have lived in these times. But I was only one year old 
in 1966, but somehow me spirit as a little baby. It's weird. When I grew, grew up in Redondo Beach in Torrance in Los Angeles County, in Palos Verdes, Lamita, where I'd ride me bike around. I'd listen to things like Arthur Lee and Love in me headphones. And it's like in 1966, I was just a baby. I was only one. In 1966, I was just a toddler. I was only two. But I remember these songs. I remember these albums. Don't ask me how. When I was just four years old, I heard The Who, The Overture from Tommy. And I remember when the organ kicks in. Just being four years old, five years old, 1969, 1970. Oh, what changing times. What transitional times those were. But I remember hearing the who. Do you think it's all right to leave the boy with Uncle Annie? I remember it all. Just four or five years old, I heard the overture. And I remember hearing Led Zeppelin 1 and 2 and those things in those Zeppelin albums, the instrumental little tangents, I remember them from being four and five years old. It's 1969, 1970. It got me ears and me eyes operated on because I was born with Bell's palsy. Half of my body was paralyzed and I was so scared. I was just four years old. I knew I could die getting operated on my ears, my eyes, because of Bell's palsy. But I was in that in that Harbor General Hospital on Carson in, in Torrance or Los Angeles or wherever it is. It's known as County UCLA, Harbor General Hospital. And I remember being four and five and being in that hospital and hearing songs on the radio like these. I just remember hearing it, man, talking to the other little kids. We're all getting operated on. We're all in there, four or five, getting our eyes and ears operated on. 1969. But long before that, when Shark was only one or two, 1966, I was only one, and loved DiCapo and Arthur Lee in love. This amazing, amazing, amazing album. You should get all five stars. Come on. Give it five stars, baby. Do it for Clark the Shark. Little Sharky's Underground Garage. I want to see nothing but five stars for Arthur Lee and love. Because John would be like, all you need is love. That's all you people need. You should love Sharky. Even though he's only five foot six, you should love him. Don't be mean to Sharky. He's so lovable. There's a cuddly little five foot six. And of course, look at that. Arthur Lee and love. Get five stars, baby, for DiCapo. This amazing album from 1966. I mean, I it can't be better than Forever Changes, can it? No. Come on, somebody gave it a three right there. You don't give DiCapo a three. I mean, come on, man. DiCapo is a five-star album. I love it, man. I, I love this album. I don't care what these critics say. It's five stars. On a scale of 1 to 10, this is a 15 from shark a doodle doo at 1-800-449-8255, The Clark the Shark Show. And this album greets you on side one with just this amazing song, Stephanie Knows Who. It's like in 3, 4, 6, 8. And it's got like, I don't know, like, what's that instrument, man? Like, diddly 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 diddly. <laughs> I don't know, man. That that little like harpsichord. It's like a harpsichord or a glockenspiel or a clavinet. I love it, man. It's three four. It's six eight. It's such a fucking killer, like progressive rock song. Stephanie knows who. What's in your mind, little Stephanie? I do 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 do. It's like three, four, six, eight. It just explodes with a harpsichord. It's like Frank Zappa would use a harpsichord, man. I love harpsichord. And Ray and Dave Davies on Kinks albums like Face to Face and, you know, another thing, something else by the Kinks. I love those albums. And they use harpsichord. And I think the Bee Gees and the Beach Boys use harpsichord. And you know, the Beatles 
Oh, you bloody no, Paul loves to use harpsichord. I love harpsichord, man. And I love Stephanie Knows Who. It's the most incredible song to start out this incredible album, De Capo. But Orange Skies, there's something about Orange Skies. When I hear Orange Skies, I picture like an orange sky, like tangerine. Uh, I can picture like Arthur Lee walking down a street with orange skies in the morning or maybe the evening at dusk. Orange skies. I love it. And Q Vida is like this jazz. It's like, it's like, <laughs> it starts with just this sound, like he's just popping a sound. And it's so amazing. Q Vida is like this jazzy. It's killer. I love Que Vida. I love it. The track number three. And by the time you get to track number three on side one, you are in underground. I don't know if I'd really call this psychedelia. This is just really good music from Arthur Lee and Love. These th first three songs are amazing. But then you get to Seven and Seven Is, which of course is one of the greatest songs in the history of all rock and roll. Seven and Seven Is is just this explosive, heavy metal, hard rock song. It's right there with the Who, I Can See For Miles, or like the Beatles, Tomorrow Never Knows, or the Who, Armenia, City In The Sky. I love Seven and Seven Is. You are in heaven. You are in rock and roll, garage, underground, almost psychedelic heaven. With seven and seven is, I would say seven and seven is by love has to be one of the greatest songs ever recorded in rock history. I'm talking in all 60, 70 years of rock going back to Elvis. Seven and seven is maybe invented heavy metal or punk rock or it's proto metal, but it's proto punk. It's proto grunge. Or it's proto indie. It's proto alternative. It's amazing. Seven and Seven is, is, you gotta hear this. And I want you to buy this album, De Capo by Love, right now. All of you listening to me on the Clark the Shark Show. Little Sharky's Underground Garage. More important than Little Steven. Oh, man, it's so much more. Because I come to you from the golden EIB Sharkraphone. It's not a microphone, it's a Sharkraphone. And you gotta hear Seven and Seven is you got to hear side one of this album, De Capo. It's amazing by love. If just for Stephanie knows who, that's so amazing in Orange Skies. But the, oh, my favorite song might be The Castle. That's track number five. Oh, I love The Castle. I love the song. It's so amazing. But, you know, come on. Seven and Seven is by love. Arthur Lee and love. Are you kidding me? You're in a garage, people, back in 1966. You're not sure whether to try acid or even smoke marijuana. But if you hear Seven and Seven Is and the castle, <laughs> oh, 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 baby, you, I'm going to keep the show clean, baby. It's one 800 449 I'm not telling you to do anything you don't want to do. But the castle is amazing. And she comes in colors. I love that song, too. I love all six of these songs on side one. I want you to go to iTunes, Spotify, Amazon Music in 2023, March 2023. And I want all you young people, 10, 11, 12 years old, all the way up to 28, 21-year-old people. You're born in 2002, 2001. I want you to get into Arthur Lee and Love. They're from America. They're not from England, but they sound so British. They sound better than British, man. These guys are better. They're American garage psychedelia. Ah, they're better than England. They're awfully in love, De Capo. Better. Paul's like, yeah, but Clark the Shark, he's got a point, my mate. I'll even get an attorney and I'll sue Arthur Lee in love because to me... They're just like the Ruttles. They fucking rip off the Beatles. And I'm like, no way, Paul McCartney. No way. This is original. This is coming from the mind of Arthur Lee and Love. 
Brian McLean, all of them in the band. They're from America. They're not from England. But this album sounds so British, man. And this album even has, like, soul. There's, like, a Motown feel. Whenever Arthur Lee and Love, it's almost like it was recorded in Detroit at Hitsville, USA. You tell them, George. You tell them about Arthur Lee and Love. I'm telling you people, man, this sounds so soulful. Like, Arthur Lee was just such a soulful guy. And the other black guy in the band. And Brian McLean. It's psychedelic. It's garage. It's underground garage rock and roll. Little Steven would fucking love this album. But let me tell you, side one of this is amazing. You know, it's... It is soulful. Like, like almost like Barry Gordy recorded this, man. It's amazing, and yet it's psychedelic and bluesy and jazzy, and there's jazz fusion on every song. It's great, and Paul's like, I, I can't even sue it. I don't care, man. I'll sue the Ruttles. I'll sue Neil Innes and the Ruttles. A Red Album rips off everything the Beatles ever did. I'll sue him. But I don't care, Clark the Shaw. You fucking can sue him, Paul McCartney. But just don't sue Clark the Shark at one 800 449 on the fabulous, amazing Clark the Shark show where I'm reviewing just the most amazing album. You gotta buy this album. 1966, Arthur Lee and Love. Oh, it's just love. Forget Arthur Lee and Love. Love. You gotta buy this album just for the 3, 4, 6, 8, groovy Stephanie knows who. But hey, little kid out there, man, you're only 16. And you were born in like 2006. I want you to come over to Little Sharky's underground garage. Forget Little Steven, man. You go to Little Sharky on YouTube if you want the best reviews of rock albums from the 1960s. And you won't find a better album than De Capo by Love and Arthur Lee. Seven and Seven is and The Castle. And She Comes in Colors. It sounds British. But it's from America. It wasn't even recorded in England. It's recorded in America. Even John loves it. They're, I'm telling you, the Beatles would love this album. Everybody, Brian Wilson, loves this album. And the Beach Boys, the Yardbirds, Jimmy Page, everybody, Pete Townsend, everybody. The Doors love Arthur Lee and love Jim Morrison, worship this band. And you know why, man? Because in 1966, they recorded one of the greatest albums in rock history, De Capo by Love. Just for side one alone, but side two and Revelation, it's like this jazz, bluesy rock song that just goes on forever. 18 minutes of trying to be like the Who, a uh, quick one, uh, like Happy Jack. I don't know, man. I don't know which came first, but to me, they're like, yeah, the Who got a song that's 12 minutes or 9 minutes. Or we're going to record Revelation. It's 18 minutes. I love how every band back in the 60s, like the Doors, you know, everyone had to have a song that's 9 minutes. Everyone was trying to be like the Who, a quick one. <laughs> and Revelation takes up all of side two. It's 1857, but... It's like a jazz, bluesy rock song that goes on forever. And it's got a drum solo. But it's amazing. I, I love Revelation, man. It's all right, you know. But I love Side One More of De Capo. 1966. You guys have got to buy this album by Love. Arthur Lee and Love. Forget Love. It's Arthur Lee and Love. It's the most amazing album. But, you know... Forever Changes 1967 is is better, you know, than this. But I don't know, man. I fucking love. It's hard to top side one where you got Stephanie Knows Who, which is amazing. Orange Skies, which I love. And Key Vida, which I love. It's just, it mixes psychedelic garage with jazz blues. And <laughs> it's just incredible, man. It's progressive rock, basically, in 1966. It's Arthur Lee and Love, De Capo. All you need is love. I'm telling you, people, this is John. You know, maybe George. All you need is love and Arthur Lee. He's amazing. And the castle, I'm, 
I'm not going to give it away. You just got to hear every song, all six of these amazing songs on this amazing album. It's amazing. This album right here. De Capo. <laughs> Arthur Lee in Love. Is it better than Forever Changes? No. No way. Is it as good as Forever Changes 1967? No way. I don't know, though, man. It's pretty fucking good. Arthur Lee in Love. You know Little Steven in the Underground Garage. They love this album, man. But Little Sharky in his Underground Garage, 1966. I love everything by Arthur Lee in Love. This guy was a genius, and I wish he could have kept this band together. All throughout the 1970s, and Brian McLean, who died, you know, just like Keith or Elf, they died. I wish all of us could live forever, man. I wish Arthur Lee was still alive. I love Arthur Lee, man. I wish Arthur Lee could live forever. I wish we all could live forever. Who knows, maybe in God's heaven, we can all live forever. Because you might be in heaven right now. Maybe not. Maybe you're just on the Clark the Shark show. But I'm going to bring you a little piece of heaven. Arthur Lee and Love de Capo. 1966, people. This album is amazing. I want you all to support the estate of Arthur Lee and Love and Brian McLean and all these guys. I want you to support them forever. Because Arthur Lee is in heaven. You know he is. You know the good Lord up above God. You know, the Ruttles were bigger than God. And the Beatles were bigger than God, too. Maybe just Rod. They meant Rod. I'm sorry, God. Well, he meant Rod. You know, yeah, maybe, who knows. But there's nothing bigger than Arthur Lee in love, man. To me, Clark the Shark in the underground garage, man, 1966... 1967, where all these groovy people were dropping acid and smoking a little too much of something back in the 60s. And George is like, put this thing in my head. And it looked like a rope. And I'm like, I'm never going to do it again. George is like, it looked like a rope. And John is like, well, it, it is rope, George. You don't put a rope in your head. At 1-800-449-8255. Chipotle is like, you don't bloody put rope in your head, George. You know, it's acid. I quit doing it. Bloody hell, we all had to quit doing acid. We all, come on, man. Why were people putting rope? You put you put it under a microscope. It looks like rope. <laughs> you don't put rope in your bleeding head. You know, don't, don't put LSD. And even Pete Townsend quit doing LSD. Yeah, man, don't do don't do acid, man. But just dream about the people back in the sixties. All did rope. They put this thing that looked like bloody rope in the head <laughs> under a microscope. It looked like rope, Clark the Shark. I'm never putting rope in me head ever again. This is poor, but uh, I might sue the Rattles. Neil Innes, I might go easy on Neil, but I might see you, Clark the Shark, at 1-800-449-8255, and the, the beautiful, amazing Clark the Shark show. But, you know, if you don't say something amazing about this man right here, Arthur Lee in Love, man, and De Capo, just an incredible album. I love it. I love this album. I, I might love Forever Changes more, you guys. That's It's hard to say. It's close, dude. Those albums are right there. Both of them. And, and the 1965 album by Arthur Lee and Love. Fuck, man. They're all so great. I love all those albums. I wish Arthur Lee could have kept, kept it going. But you got to check out For Sale, 1969. Arthur Lee puts together... A new band, a new love, and it's amazing. I love For Sale. It's like this messy rock and roll album. Uh, George would have loved it, but I love it. I love For Sale, but I love the the classic lineup of love. These guys, all of them, 
I love Arthur Lee and Love, you guys, and I want you to buy everything by Arthur Lee and Love. I want you to buy Forever Changes over and over at Spotify, iTunes, Amazon. Do it because Clark the Shark at the Clark the Shark Show at 1-800-449-8255 from the Golden EIB Sharkerphone. Do it because I told you how much I love Arthur Lee and Love, and I want you to buy Arthur Lee's music forever, you guys. I love all of you, man, out there listening to me, but I love Arthur Lee more. Forever, I love Arthur Lee and Love. They're not from England. They're from America. And I love this band, and I love DeCapo. 1966, such a great year for music. The Who, a, qu a quick one, Happy Jack. You know, Cream recorded the first album, Fresh Cream. Frank Zappa, Freak Out. The Beatles, Revolver. <laughs> the Beach Boys, Pet Sounds. Man, 1966, why did you have to leave us? I wish I could go back in time. Clark the Shark wishes he could live in 1966 over and over Maybe 1967, over and over, and who knows? Maybe I am, and I'm just having a dream about 2023, but I'm really in 1966, and I'm back there with this amazing album by Arthur Lee and Love, DeCapo, 1966. Side One is so incredible. I want you all to buy it. Plenty of Arthur Lee and Love DeCapo, but I want you to buy Forever Changes. Both sides of that album are incredible, man. Ah, oh, man, the 60s, such a great time. That war, Vietnam, messed it all up, man. But it all had to be, it was all meant to be, you guys. People dying, because we go round and round forever in this matrix. And that's why we have Deja Vu. You know, just like Crosby, Stills, and Nash. If I ever... <laughs> Graham Nash knew. Graham Nash is like, I'm a bleeding douchebag, but I knew. I had to get with David Crosby and Stephen Stills. We go round and round like deja vu. Forever. <laughs> if I had ever been here before, I would... Don't you? <laughs> If we are just going round and round, I hope forever I can hang out in the studio with love as they record De Capo and forever changes. I'll just be like the weird British guy, the engineer, hanging out forever with Arthur Lee. And he'll be like, who are you, man? You're not from England. <laughs> and I'll be like, I'm your producer, mate. I'm your engineer. Paul A. Rothschild, and you're on Electra Records. He'll be like, I, pff, we're in America, bro, we're not in England. But I'm like, forever, we're all in England, and we're all listening to De Capo by Arthur Lee and Love forever. Because forever changes, people, with the Clark the Shark show, where you're forever in transition. You're going from the who sell out to who's next. But first you got to go through Tommy. <laughs> You're going from the Yardbirds little games to Stairway to Heaven. But first you got to go through Led Zeppelin 1 and 2 and 3. You're in transition forever. Going through those times where you're searching for that new sound with Clark the Shark. In GE, Greenhouse Effect, you're going through transition forever. But you'll never find a better transitional album than De Capo and Arthur Lee and Love, 1966. I want you to buy this album, every one of you. Because first, buy this album and learn about Side One and all the great songs. Before you buy Forever Changes by Arthur Lee and Love, because you'll be ready to hear that amazing album, 1967. And then you will you will pretty much understand Little Sharky's Underground Garage. It's so much more than Little Steven. Little Sharky, baby. 
at 1-800-449-8255, The Clark the Shark Show, coming to you live from the golden EIB Sharkraphone. It's not a microphone, baby. It's a Sharkraphone. And you just heard the testimony, the word about one of the greatest albums ever recorded, DeCapo. Arthur Lee and Love DeCapo, so amazing. 1966, maybe my favorite album ever. I don't know. Do I love this more than Zappa Freak Out or the Beatles Revolver or Brian, jo- Brian Jones and the Rolling Stones Between the Buttons or the Beach Boys Brian Wilson? And Paul's like, we're better. We're better than the Beach Boys with Sergeant Pepper. And I'm like, I don't know, Paul. I don't know if you top the Beach Boys pet sounds. But I know nobody can top DeCapo by Arthur Lee and Love, 1966. This is amazing music from the underground, from the garage. But everyone, they weren't even quite dropping acid yet. They're just smoking grass in 1966. You won't find a better album, no way. No way than DeCapo by Love, Arthur Lee and Love, the fabulous genius Arthur Lee in love. And you just heard the testimony, the word from Clark the Shark at 1-800-449-8255. The fabulous Clark the Shark show from the golden EIB Sharkraphone. And I just want to tell all of you out there that I love you forever. Forever Shark loves you. And I want you to buy this album.